Ever wonder about the origins of your adorable pet dog, as well as the free-roaming village dogs that make up 75% of the world's one billion canines? A new large DNA study of dogs around the globe shows they all likely came from Central Asia over 15,000 years ago. Here to discuss is the study's co-author, Laura Shannon, a postdoctorate research associate at Cornell University. Laura, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, thank you. So your study is distinct because this is the first time such a large amount of DNA was collected from such a diverse group of dogs, correct? How wide a net did you cast? So we looked at over 5,000 dogs, um, and most of them were breed dogs. But we also looked at 549 village dogs from 38 different countries. And so we got samples um, as widely as possible from all throughout the Americas and from Africa and from throughout Eurasia and from the Pacific Islands. So tell us what this collection process was like. Was it hard to just show up at a remote village, find the local dogs and get them to come to you? So I actually didn't personally do most of the collection. Um, I'm a tiny bit afraid of dogs and more inclined to analyze data. Um, <laughs> but. Um, Adam Boyko, who is uh, the professor in charge of our lab and um, the head of the study, did most of it with co local collaborators um, everywhere he went and then places he couldn't get to. Uh, we had local collaborators and co-authors send us uh, samples from. And so what I hear is that dogs are pretty food motivated. <laughs> and so basically, if you show up with roast beef sandwiches, they'll come to you right I away. I love you. Yes, I guess anyone who owns a dog won't be surprised by that. But what about the process did surprise you? What about the data was surprising? Um, so a couple of things about the data were surprising. I mean, first of all, the previous studies that had looked at dog origins um, named basically focused on two locations. So one focused on, some focused on southern China, um, south of the Yangtze River, and some focused on northern Europe, especially anyone looking at archaeological samples is finding northern Europe. And so we sort of thought we'd come down on uh, one of those sides or the other and actually are using this wide set of data we have. We're uh, finding that our evidence points to dogs being from basically in the middle. Um, so so least, is it still widely agreed that dogs come from gray wolves? Is, does that then mean that these gray wolves probably came from Central Asia? Yes. So um, dogs are domesticated from gray wolves, and um, but gray wolves were basically present throughout Eurasia. And so we were trying to identify sort of the particular the particular population of gray wolves that are probably the ancestors for dogs. Can you put a precise date on this or not quite? Um, so we can't. Uh, so sometime between 15 and 30,000 years ago are the going estimates. And the reason we can't is because we wanted the largest um, data set possible. We wanted to span as far as possible. And so to do that, we just got genotypes at particular locations throughout the genome, and really you need sequence data to look at dates. So now that we've identified the um, most interesting populations, that would be the next step because we would have a better idea of which dogs in particular we'd want sequences from. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Shannon. What fascinating research. Thank you.